again, my name is Chrissy and I'm a Life Skills and Deployment Educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. I'm here today to bring you two courses um, that have more of a financial basis. One of them is car buying and the other one is consumer awareness. So this will be the car buying course. As a Life Skills and Deployment Educator, my main focus is not financial courses. So I would suggest if you are considering a big purchase or if you want to learn more about your financial well-being, please reach out to our Fleet and Family Financial Department because we have certified professionals that can help you in that area. Another person you can reach out to on your ship is your certified command financial specialist. They do go through CFS training in our offices and that's a quite extensive training. So reach out to them because they can walk you through the process of car buying or any other financial concern that you might have while you're out and underway. Congratulations on making it this far in your deployment. I realize that uh, deployment during this, this global pandemic and some of the other concerns we have is, has been particularly challenging and we wanna salute you for going through all of these um, big changes and through going through a deployment with um, so much uncertainty back at home. So congratulations on making it this far. If you are coming to a car buying class, it's probably because you're looking to purchase a car or you might need to purchase an additional car or you might be wanting to trade one in. I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks, um, but I'm not gonna get too far into the weeds. Um, please reach out to, again, your um, your point of contact, the um, subject matter expert would be the PFMs at Fleet and Family or your command financial specialist. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward. This is our car buying course as a part of the return and reunion. There'll be several videos in this series. Uh, just so for those of you who don't know me, I have gone out and taught this curriculum on ships. Um, that's one of the fav my favorite things that we do at Fleet and Family. So I really enjoy this um, part of my job and I love talking to sailors. This course is probably best for young sailors or for people who are maybe getting ready to do something that they haven't done before or haven't done in a while. So if you, ha if you got a car that was handed down to you and you've just never actually went out and bought one, maybe that's a good opportunity for you to take this course as well. It's a good thing to just kind of check all the boxes you can before making a big purchase, because as you may know, the number one way that you can lose your security clearance and not be viable to your command and to the fleet is through financial issues and financial burden. So we don't wanna have that. And buying a car, which is a big asset, does create some ability for you to choose or um, possibly make a decision that might not be the best for you. It's also a nice opportunity right now for me to remind you that as a service member coming back from a deployment, there are organizations, um, car dealerships to be specific, that know that you're coming back from a deployment, know that you have some money burning in your pocket and will try to exploit you if they can. So realize that sometimes you can be a target in these specific situations and just have your defenses up so that you know when to, um, when to approach a good deal and when you know when you're being taken advantage of. So these are the objectives that we're gonna cover. Um, we're gonna talk about the purchase itself, the financing, and then the trade-in um, with regards to a vehicle if you already have one. If you don't, that's okay too. Makes a, one less step that you have to worry about. So talking about the car first, we wanna first before we do anything, and I suggest in this order, we wanna talk about how much can we afford to purchase a vehicle. We wanna make sure that that purchase is not too much of our income that's coming in regularly. We're gonna talk a little bit more about debt to income ratio in just a moment. We also wanna talk about what kind of vehicle you wanna buy. Um, we wanna buy a vehicle that's going to work for your family situation and for the things that you currently the way you would currently use the vehicle. Where to buy the vehicle, you have several options. There's not one great place to do it. And by the way, I'm not gonna be suggesting a specific dealership or website or anything like that. Um, but you have some options here and you should shop them. And then know what's a fair and affordable price. That will be different for each person. However, if you are making a certain amount of income, you should look at 
the kind of vehicles that are in that general income area, okay? So first, let's talk about what you can afford. We wanna look at the total price and not just the monthly price. So the total price will be your monthly payment, the down payment, and then any upkeep you have. So for example, um, this is just a general vehicle, but some of those luxury vehicles that you might look at or might really wanna purchase, they'll take premium gas. They will have uh, parts that need to be serviced only at the dealership. Um, they might have additional bells and whistles that when they break, it's a bigger um, expense to get them fixed. So consider the total price. Don't just look at that monthly. The monthly can be very, the monthly price you pay for a vehicle can be um, attractive and can look affordable when you don't factor in all of the other expenses. One of the other things that I'd like to mention here is that some of the upkeep um, that you might have with a new vehicle, if you know how to do some of that on your own, well, by the way, if you mess up a vehicle by shoddy, um, by your shoddy mechanic, you're gonna pay more in the end. Um, but one of the places if you want to drive down your cost is look at the auto hobby shops that are on your base. I know in San Diego we have at least two auto hobby shops. So you can go in and if you know how to change your oil, for example, you can go in, take the oil, change it yourself. Or if you don't know how to do any of that and you wanna learn, they do have people who can teach you how to upkeep your own vehicle. So that's a way that you can drive down some of the cost, okay? So knowing what you can afford, encompass the total cost of the vehicle, not just what you will be paying on a monthly basis, because you need to prepare also for emergencies or other issues, okay? You'll also want to create a spending plan beforehand. Fleet and Family does offer budgeting classes or one-on-one -on -one consultations so that you can bring in your own monthly income, any bills, debt, um, regular expenses, and then you can determine with a PFM at Fleet and Family or your command financial specialist, you can sit down and determine what would be the best amount for you to pay monthly for a vehicle. Knowing your debt to income ratio is also incredibly important when you're deciding how much debt you should incur. You should know how much debt you already have coming in. So the debt to income ratio is the amount that you are paying monthly to pay down your regular debt. The military wants you to keep that to 20%. You'll see some organizations or other civilian um, places that say that it can be higher, but 20% is really what you want to look at, keeping it below that. And that's your included all of your debt. So if you have previous college loans, um, maybe an alimony payment, or you're paying something um, regularly that's paying down debt, you want to make sure that you include that in your monthly debt to income ratio. The lower your debt to income ratio is, the more likely um, you will be able to get what you want, all right? Get and attain your own copy of your credit report. When you have another organization run that credit report for you, um, they will use it as leverage to get what they want from you. So you saying, I don't need you to run my credit report, I already have it, it's printed out right here. Um, that will give save you some time and also be able for you to use that as leverage. Fleet and Family can help you print your credit report and know exactly what your credit score is going in. You can do that once a year for free at freecreditreport.com, I think. I'm gonna double check that for the next video. Um, seeking a loan pre-approval, that's another way you can drive down some of those costs. Um, car dealerships get money from selling you a vehicle, but they also gather income by having their loan through them they'll get more money off of the interest. So this is another way that you can kind of drive down your own costs and have more um, leverage and control when you're going into a car buying situation. The other thing is start to calculate your monthly interest payment and stick to it, all right? This is what I wanna pay. I only wanna pay this much per month. I'm not going above it. I'm not going $20 over. I'm not, I want it to be at this number or lower period. And maybe not even ex, uh, tell them that, all right, or tell them the exact number. I'll be back for video two for car buying.